Okay, so next day, and we're gonna make some gaskets. So I finished peeling off all the. Well, first, first, I uh, I went to Harbor Freight or not? Uh, I went to Tap Plastics, and um, you know I looked at their scrap pile. Let's get you guys over here. I looked at their scrap pile, but uh, it ended up like they don't have anything more than like nine and a half inches in length, you know, and my plates, um, short wise or whatever, you know, um, they're like nine and a half, somewhere in there, so obviously that's not going to be enough to, you know, put a bolt in it and stuff like that, so, or screw and or nut and bolt, bolt, you know, never mind, never mind, but, uh, you know, so, you know, I was just going to get like a two plates of 14 by 12 inches, you know, getting an extra inch on, um, on the plates, but, um, it ended up like being 14 bucks or something like that, just for one of them, I'm not paying like 30 bucks for like, you know, two pieces of polycarbonate, so, I decided... I would just make a little like, you know, I'd have them like that, you know, put the, uh, the metal plate, gasket, metal plate, gasket, you know, all the way up to the last metal plate, and then put them right there, and then, you know, I'll have um, screws in here, we're going to bolt the rod, and end up bolting them, so it clamps together, you know, um, you know, these are uh, 250 each. Might have been a lot smarter if I went with um, six instead of four. So it's like two more. Because it'd be good if I had these on the ends. And then another strip right there. You know, to really clamp it. But I'll see how well it works just with this. And yeah, if I have time today. And I'm doing all the gaskets. I'll uh, I'll just clamp this down and try it, but I'll uh, I'll probably have to go to Home Depot or something to get some thread rod, threaded rods or probably just a um, hex nut, hex bolt. Sorry guys, hex bolt. Um, and just get hex nuts too. For some washers, just to really clamp that second down. So yeah, we're gonna be uh, getting these situated. So, pretty heavy though, which, um, really the only, the, like, the only advantage I could think of, or unless you're using, like, top water, that's gonna, like, degrade these, even though it's, like, 316, you know, if you use, like, a ton, you know, and they're gonna start degrading, I guess, and these will take a really long time for them to degrade, so, um, yeah, that's like one of the advantages, but like, you know, another advantage I was thinking, you can make it super thin, super thin gaskets, and these things won't bend and touch, so, you know, but I'm going with uh, like 1 16th inch gaskets, should be good, okay, so you got this right here, got my uh, one foot pretty much, okay, now, um, yeah. let's just, we'll just make a line right here. Um, here, let's see. So, I've got this. You know what, guys? I think instead of uh, what's that? <laughs> it doesn't really matter for this, but instead of uh, just like eyeballing it and whatever, just feeling it out, 
I think we need to measure this. Yeah. And um, then measure stuff. But it's good to cut it first and then measure. You know? Not to make the gasket before you cut it. So. We are looking at nine and three quarters. So yeah, let's um, yeah, that's nine three quarters gonna be good enough. Let's get nine three quarters. Nine three quarters. So um, now, let's make a real nice line, and then we'll cut it. Um, looks like we real line. That's right. Um, yeah, it should be good. I uh, got. It. Four feet, forty-eight, and there's what did I say? Nine and three quarters. So, you know, definitely we got like at least an extra foot or something like that. Once we're done with making all these. This and um, yeah, start cutting away. Okay. Um, Okay, let's see how well it's um, um, yeah, looks like we, looks good enough. Okay, and, um, let's see, what do we want? We probably want, you know what, I think I cut these things 10 inches, so we're not too far off, because I took uh, 8 quarters off, so. That doesn't make any sense. An eighth of an inch off. Um, yeah, so. Um, is that nine and three quarters? Minus two, seven three quarters. Um, so it'd be like one. Somewhere around there. Um, seven and three quarters. So it's gonna be like around there ish. Yeah, that seems definitely good enough. I even go with half, which I might do, because I can use all the surface area I can get. But yeah. Whew. Okay, um, I think I'll be doing the rest of these, and um, yeah, I'll give you guys when I'm like, there's anything new or something. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, you know, made uh, the gasket. 
it's a um, half inch thick. So, yeah. So it took a while, it took like 20 minutes just to make this one. But, you know, it, um, it's definitely in quite a lot, mmm, quite a lot of surface area. So, here, let's just see. Um, you know, right there, let's just say at least 11. 11 by 8.5. Yeah, 8.5, you know, it's um. Mm, it's 93 and a half or something like that. So it's, it's, you know, it's like 94 square inches. Pretty good, you know. So, yeah. Something I just sort of noted. No, it doesn't even matter though. Never mind, never mind. I was going to say, you know, it's going to be hard to connect the electrodes here. But I'm not even using the, uh, the middle plates. Those are just neutral plates. Just to divide the voltage and so it'd be like a voltage, a two volt difference between, you know, uh, each plate, about two and a half, more like, you know, and uh, I'll start splitting water, you know, between those plates, so, yeah, and, um, you know, the, uh, okay, this is, let's say this is a positive plate or something. whole thing, well, take that back, so I'm going to be putting it like this, and just, should be good, should be good, but I got like the, this whole plate right here for um, contacts, so, um, I don't know what I'll do, might just put like aluminum foil or something like that, and just apply it all right there, just get a bunch of, you know, really nice joint. Whatever. Um, and I get all this yeah, aluminum sheeting or anything like that. Or just get some more stainless steel. I don't know if I want to cut that. I got some aluminum. And, um, yeah, just. Shh, there we go. Um, yeah, or I could just. I could always just sandwich it between this right here. Yeah, there's a lot of options I get, but it's gonna be pretty sweet if it works. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, just wanna show you guys that. Um, it's getting a little late, and I didn't take a nap today, so let's see. We're it's like 8:50 right now. I said if I come out tomorrow. I won't, I won't post these videos tonight. I'll wait till tomorrow. And then just post them in one whole, like, you know, upload. But, um, actually, I got a late day tomorrow. But still, I might want to just sleep a ton. Um, yeah. Third's getting a little itchy, so. Probably gonna take a nice shower. And sleep. You know, don't get sick, I guess. But. Um, yeah, there's definitely quite a lot. The, uh, the gasket is actually, um, half as thick as the, uh, the actual plate. It's just funny. Um, yeah, but, it's actually going to be a little hard to put the, uh, the water ports in here. Because, uh, I'm going to have to drill. And tap it, and tapping one eighth inch, and making it like not leak. Um, it's a bit hard. What I might do is uh, polycarbonate. Um, I gotta make sure to align it really nicely. And I might have to make a gasket for this, you know. Let's take this for example. It's just gonna end up being like that. You know, and just a nice rectangle. Just lay that right there. And then I'll have two ports right here. Two holes right there. Um, or maybe not, maybe not. I'm going to have to have it right there. I don't know. I'll think about it. But 
Uh, yeah, actually, actually, I gotta. I'll have to make one for here, one for here, because uh, you know the. You know, I want I want the water to go. You know, from the bottom, and fill up, and then go all the way to the top. Because I'm gonna have a water jug that's gonna be above elevation, so everything's gonna you know have water into it, and then the output. And then also, you know, all the gas is getting collected up here, so you know that. But you know, I'll have a have it like that. Nice part right there. Nice part right there. Tap it. Um, I just have to drill a hole, pretty much. I guess this whole thing will be filled with uh, solution, but you know that's all right. Um, and you know, I, I'm not gonna go cheap and just do like a little quarter things a little quarter square because then like you know then I'll have to or or if I do that then I'll have to have like a couple of these just to keep it the thickness but you know I, I'll think about that um, stuff's pretty heavy though I mean yeah it's like 20 pounds or something durable <laughs> not really I don't know, but uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, if this thing explodes, the only thing that's going to break is like these things, you can always replace them, you know, these things especially because like the top one with the port, there's going to be a lot of gas right there, so if it does flash back all the way into here, you know, but that's not going to be my main concern, my main concern would be the, uh, the water tank where I have the water reservoir with all the electrolyte. You know, um, if I don't fill it up all the way, I think it's five gallons. I got a um, gallon distilled water, got three of them. Probably get two more just to, you know, keep that thing really, really level. You know, but then these things have to be like really pressurated. If I put five gallons and have it, you know, above elevation. But, um, I mean, they, they should be anyways, so, yeah. But, uh, I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, you know, once that thing starts going down, if it flashes back, then uh, that thing's screwed. So it's gonna like blow up, and then you know, it's probably not gonna be like too bad of an explosion. It's just gonna be plastic, but with sodium hydroxide in it. So that's not too great. <laughs> but I, I mean, I believe. Sodium hydroxide should be in, you know, actually quite low concentration. I don't know about that actually, but I hear you don't have to put too much in, so. You know, um, I mean, I'm not always going to be wearing uh, at least goggles, so I'm doing it when I'm uh, with the torch, so. Yeah, but it's coming together nicely. You know, here's my power supply right here. Right here. Um,. You know, I, right now, these are my uh, diodes rectifying. They're only at 10 amps. Um, I'm feeling like, I'm hoping this, I mean, I'm gonna be able to um, make this thing pull more or less amps by uh, increasing or decreasing the electrolyte. But, you know, I don't want, uh, I, don't, I don't want this thing to like, you know, I mean, if they're only rated at 10 amps, which is not that much, you know, um, they're gonna get really hot, and you know, they they won't have enough time to dissipate the heat, really, you know, because uh, there's gonna be more electrons moving past a certain point, and the resistance there is, which I think has to do with the voltage drop or something like that, um, yeah, that, that, you know, it's gonna get really hot. And... But, you know, I could cool these down. I could put them in oil, something like that. So, there's, a, there's always, you know. And then I got these big things, but I don't know if they'll work. Um, but, you know, I've actually tried them. I've uh, shortened them out and everything. They, they work fine, so. Oh, that one. And I, and I checked the, uh, uh, the voltage drop on these after I shorten them out and ton stuff like that. And um, they seem fine, but you know it, it might be 
I, I didn't check them on an oscilloscope or anything, so it might be like a really bad you know, thing. But anyways, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna head in and eat. And yeah, I mean maybe maybe I'll actually do some homework. So then I get like done it. Yeah, do any homework. Or just get early sleep. That's actually pretty nice. Yeah, I'll probably do that actually. Okay. Anyways, um, stay tuned. I mean, I'm first gonna have this thing go into another video right after this, like in the same YouTube video. You know, so it's gonna be like a 45 minute video or something like that. Anyways, adios, guys. Okay. Um, just finished making the gaskets. Or, I mean, I finished like an hour ago, but. Went to go eat, and um, yeah, this is it. I'm gonna try to get this. Oh, what's that? But um, yeah. I mean, looks pretty cool. Um, let's see, five times plus one quarter. Uh, it should be like seven eighths of an inch or something. Looking more like an inch, but I can press it down, it's probably right there. Oh no, it's like 7 8 yeah. Okay. Um, you know, I'll try to get you guys a good angle. You guys have seen that? Yeah. And, um, I'm looking pretty solid. Let's see. So, that's probably all I'm going to do tonight, actually, because I got to drill into these. You know, let's say this is the top, or this is, like, facing upwards. You can probably drill a couple holes along there. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just drill, like, alternating. Really depends. But, uh, you know, I just got to drill them around there or something like that. Um, yeah. And, well, I don't know. I don't know. See, I need, I need a, I, I wouldn't do it for this one, like, because this is the top plate, but the uh, neutral plates, I'll have to have holes because the gas is going to rise up. So I got to, you know, have them all connected, you know. And, um, yeah, you, you gotta be careful about like having them too close to the gasket, you know. But then not having them close enough, because if it's not close enough, they'll start building up, you know. And you have them down here, you got that much gas, you know, that has to like go that way, you know. And uh, yeah, it's gonna have to build up all the way to down there. It's gonna increase pressure. Um, you know, flashback occurs, you're screwed, and, uh, you know, it's gonna, you only have that much service area, you supposed to that much, so, you know, but I don't want to jump too close to this, because it didn't fit right, it's not good. Um, let me show you what it looks like, let's see. There we go. You know, it's pretty good actually. So if I have the holes right there, perfect. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how many holes I want. You know how big they're gonna be. It might be smart just to have a bunch of like small ones, just sort of along along the border. So then, you know, it's only that much like cut off region. As opposed to like, you know, huge ones that are like, you know, this thick, because then it's going to be like that much cut off region. Um, but then there's also, I mean, I don't really know, um, like, too much about uh, electrolysis and stuff like that. But I was on, uh, you know, YouTube looking at some stuff and 
you know, it's, it's sort of bad to have, like, holes that align each other, you know, because then you have, like, leakage current. I don't really know that's true. Um, <clears throat> but, I mean, obviously the, uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, I mean, I'm just going to trust what they're saying and just follow their design. You know? And, you know, also, like, if, if I were to flip this around, and this is the bottom now, you know, I'm having, uh, I'm having the water go, or, like, the, you know, water with the electrolyte, so how much oxide probably is going to go into here. And we have alternating holes, you know, like one right there, and then if I take this plate off, one right there, take the plate off, one right there, you know, and that's gonna allow for, uh, I mean, I guess more distance between, um, like non, you know, I, I mean, I don't really know, no, never mind, I guess, but um, yeah, I'll do that probably tomorrow or something like that. Um, I actually sort of got a lot of things for school this week, like two reports and stuff like that, and, um, I really hate those, so, yeah, I gotta, you know, prep for those, and some other stuff, but, um, I mean, definitely do this on the weekend. Yeah, but, I mean, just drilling the holes, I mean, you know. One day I might just do this, drill holes for this, super easy. Or go to uh, Home Depot, get the, uh, the extra supplies I need for this, and then drill them. I mean, really easy stuff. Um, you know, and then later, you know, I'm sort of thinking of drilling these on the weekend since they're metal and stuff like that. You have to take your time, not rush. So, I'll probably drill them on the weekends for Saturday or Sunday. Um, I mean, I could do it on Friday night, but, yeah, yeah, um, I'll show you guys the, uh, I guess it here, but, yeah, so it's like this, and it's pretty good, I mean, obviously these things aren't cut perfectly, perfectly, but, I mean, there's no really, like, half inch variance, you know, like, the maximum, um, you know, left position, you know, maximum, minimum right, or maximum right position, you know, whatever, I don't know, you know, the, uh, the difference between them isn't going to be like half an inch, so, it's okay. good, but, yeah, pretty heavy, um, we just got to see if it leaks, which is going to be, going to have to do that later, but, like once we got the holes on drill, but, um, Got this to hold the, uh, let's see, you know, oops, one second guys. Right. Yeah, got the um, still water, and I think this holds up to five gallons or something, so. I hope it's not more than that, because then I'll, I'll have to have a ton of, let's see, yeah, five gallons, so, you know, just five of these, and, um, fill it with electrolyte, too, I'll have, uh, have a port coming out here, and this will, I mean, I'll, I'll have to think about, like, the pressure and stuff like that, but I don't want too much pressure, and I'm going to keep this thing filled you know, near the top most of the time, just to reduce, like, the amount of gas buildup and stuff like that. Um, I might want it more, like, right here, so then it won't, you know, put, like, I mean, the gaskets and stuff isn't perfect, They're not perfectly in line, stuff like that, so if I don't have enough pressure, pressing, pressing against it, small leaks might occur, you put enough pressure, you know, going against it, I guess, but, uh, you know, um, 
drill into it. It's pretty thin, so I'm not sure how well I can tap it, but um, I might be able to get a, a nylon, you know, hex nut. Put my hand through this and just sort of like, you know, clamp it, just really tighten it, get some Teflon tape, stuff like that. So, seal it like that. You know, I, I can always put a bead of silicone or whatever. And then, um, yeah, I, I'd say, I think I might only need, no, I need like two ports. I need a port right here. And then, I'm actually going to have, this is what I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking. Um, so okay, if we look at, look at right here, you know, this is my water inlet right here, you know, fills up, and this is uh, where the gas collects and stuff like that. And then I'm going to have a port right here, obviously. So it's going to be the inlet, it's pretty much going to be the outlet, and the water is going to flow into this. And then if I have this above an elevation, then the water will, you know, go through that and then go up to, to meet this back. And, you know, I was just thinking I could probably just I could end up just putting a one port right here, you know, and then a polyvinyl vinyl tubing, break it off, have like Y section. And then, you know, left goes to the port right here, fills up with water. This stuff, you know, takes, there's another, you know, that puts the water back or whatever. I think gas could also go through it. Um, yeah, so I was just thinking like that. And, yeah, I mean, it's going to save um, some leakage, some leakage potential. <laughs> but, yeah. And then uh, for the gas... I mean, right here, it's a nice seal right here. Obviously, this stuff is gonna it's gonna leak somewhat, but especially with hydrogen, you can't really. The hydrogen is gonna be permeating through probably through this plastic, so. But in small amounts, stuff like that, real small amounts, and uh, especially if there's not that much pressure difference, it's not bad. Not bad. Obviously, for like a vacuum chamber, you don't want really any plastic, even copper tubing, but. Uh, yeah, hydrogen, I guess, will permeate through copper TV. But, I mean, if you don't have much hydrogen around, like uh, H2, hydrogen gas, then it doesn't really matter. But, anyways, um, yeah, I might seal, I might uh, put, tef or, you know, put the threads, or Teflon tape the threads, whatever, and, and just get better seal, you know, and, yeah. But, uh, I mean, there, there's some weird thing right here, and I was thinking, thinking, um, it'd be pretty cool if I just have, like, if I just sort of drilled this out, and then, actually, since there were, I want to, no, just skating, skating, I don't think the threads will fit, but, um, yeah, I think I'm just putting the, uh, yeah, I could probably just shave it off of the Dremel. And then fit the uh, another hose bar fit. There you go, cast me on. Or an, another uh, nylon, you know, hose bar thing. You know, and then you know, clamp it on with hex nut. And this will go to a, a bubbler. Just to, I mean, I guess I guess just to clean it off of sodium hydroxide. Um, I guess when you do this, it get a little hot, and um, I don't know. I guess, I guess you vaporize sodium hydroxide. I, I don't really know how that happens, but um, I mean that's what AJ Joe Connection said <laughs> on YouTube. But I don't know. Um, you know, also any flashbacks. It's gonna help it a little. I mean, um, you know, water has a pretty high heat capacity, so it's gonna absorb a lot of that energy and render the, uh, you know, the flashback energy sort of like unable to reignite the, uh, you know, explosive, explosive gas and stuff like that. 
Um, but I mean, if there's a bunch of bubbles and it hits bubble to bubble to bubble, then you're sort of screwed. But, you know, I'll, I'll have other, like, flashback arresters and stuff like that. Yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> should be fine. Um, uh, yeah, so that's really all. Um, skin a little all. And I'll be doing that over the next, probably, like, week. Something like that. I, I can't really see it. I gotta build the, uh, actual torch head, too. I got some plans for that, though. So, yeah, it's gonna be cool. But... You know, I'll probably, uh, do homework. I mean, oh, whatever, I'll just, I'll just let this video run out a little past, uh, its capacity. But, uh, you know, I got some homework to do. And, I mean, I usually just do it in the morning. But, since, uh, I mean, I, I took a nap, like, I think at 5 o'clock. Got about like 7.40, 7.30, you know, and uh, it's only like 9.30 right now. So if I'm not doing anything else, might as well just get some homework done while I upload these videos. And yeah, I mean, I, I really try not to do homework after school. Um, so if I start doing homework after school, then it's you know, it's like, you know, like, that later, you know, you know, like, if it starts to become a habit, then I feel obligated to do it, and if I don't, I feel like I'm, like, cheating myself. It's like, oh, you know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I try not to do it after school or, uh, on the weekends. I just do it in class, um, in the mornings. Although I've been sleeping in, like, in the morning, so I haven't really been getting too much homework done, so, <laughs> yeah. Bit of a bummer, but sleep or homework, you know, and, uh, I mean, if you just think about this stuff, you don't really need to do the homework. Uh, the problem is, is, like, okay, this, this stuff isn't even about, like, HS, I'll just... Uh, cut it off, but uh, I'm thinking of doing some rants and stuff like that. So stay tuned for those, cause uh, yeah, yeah, I got I'm uh, I'm uh, you know, reminded of all the really crappy, you know, stupid things we do in school every day or five days a week. So you know, I'm sure I could have a fresh experience and a fresh, like, opposition about it or whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna cut it off, so, adios guys, and stay tuned for the next couple, couple of videos, cause I'll be, uh, doing some you know, some leak testage and uh, some drilling, you know, so, yeah, adios.